Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today, we're going to be opening up our new Juvia's Place collaboration. This is with Vanessa and I'm so excited for her and I'm so excited to be trying out this new makeup. She got a new collection. She's gorgeous. I love watching her Instagram page and um, I'm really excited for her. So I'm really excited to support and also see what we can create with this palette. So if you guys are interested in seeing what we create using the new Vanessa collaboration with Juvia's Place and stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching. Bye. Alright beauties, let's get started. Going in with my Fruits Cosmetics. This is the Coconut Eye Primer. And we're about to get started on the eyes. How have y'all been? Let me know. What's been up with y'all in the comments below? How has your 2021 been so far? I want to know. How y'all doing? Mine has been okay so far. Definitely got to pick it up a little bit more. And get some more stuff popping, but it's been good. Here is the palette, y'all. Let's go ahead and dive in. This is how the colors look. Really beautiful. And I think I'm going to start off with this brown color. And I'm going to tap that going into the crease. So from the outer V and then into the crease and bring it to the front which is not that much left on the brush I'm trying to keep it kind of a rounded shape the pigmentation is really really good Now I'm going to go into Stush right here and we're going to add that right above on the line and just tap that on. And then we're going to go into Busy and tap that right on the top. Bring that all the way to the front. Back into this BSG, which is the dark brown color, so we don't lose the intensity. And now I just gently start to blend. I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cut the crease, but I am going to add some of the base right here but I'm just gonna add it and then blend it into the shadow so I don't want it to be cut crease so you see I'm tapping it I'm just blending it with the shadow I'm going to take this brush 
and blend around. Perfect. Now we're going to go into an extra right here with my finger. Okay, so it has a pink reflect to it. I didn't know that it had that reflect. Okay. It looks like it's just like a, um, a bronze color, but it actually has pink reflex. Now I'm going to go ahead and get a um, brush just to lay it down a little bit more. That is pretty, y'all. Uh. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a liner. I'm going to go into the brown and tap that over the black liner. Let's go into Heavenly. And this is from J. LaRue Cosmetics. It is a pigment. I just feel like I, I just want to just to pop even up. I'm going to gently tap into it and just tap it on top of what we already have. And the good thing about the pigment is it's just adding sparkle. It's not adding, it's not changing the color. So you still see that pink reflect underneath the pigment. Yes, that took it to a whole nother level. I'm here for it, yes. Okay, that was a good choice, y'all. I'm happy with it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye off camera and I'll be back. All right, beauty, so this is what we're looking like right now and I am so feeling it. I think this looks so pretty, so, so pretty. Now it's time to go ahead and start on the face. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Matte Oil Control Lotion. Next, we're going to go ahead and go in with our primer. We're doing the Jelly Pop Primer. Next, we're going to go ahead and set this. I like to set my primer. Oily Skin Gang. And I'm using the Crayon Case A Chalk Dust Powder. I'm just going to tap this around. All right, that's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation in 430W. Thank goodness I had this on. Now we're going to go ahead and add our concealer and I'm going in with the cookie concealer from Too Faced. Now 
Next it's time to contour and I'm going to go in with my <laughs> NAC Cosmetics Studio Fix. And this is in NW50. Next we're going into this P. Louise base and this is in Winter Rose. And this will be our um, blush. So this is going to be like our cream blush. Alright. And now it is time to blend. We're starting off with the foundation which is right here. Blend around the sides of the temples. The sides of the nose. Now blend the contour. Now let's blend the blush. All right, and now we blend the highlight. Now we're going to go ahead and set our highlight and contour. So we're going in with the flower powder from um, Beauty Bakery and Plantain. Going to contour with the Contraditional Book from the Crayon Case. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm crimping so bad right now. I'm just trying to work through it, but I'm crimping really, really bad right now. Just going to tap this in. For my highlight, I like to go in and brighten. So I'm going to go into my flower powder here in Cassava. And this sponge is from Lashing Out Glam. It is the Profusion sponge. 
and it gets right in where you want it to be. Put in all the highlighted areas. Good. That is good, y'all. We're not going to leave the bacon in all areas for down here. We're going to just blend that away. Run around in the forehead. Just tap some of that off. Then I'm going to go back into my contour brush without adding any additional product and just blend around the areas where I have the contour to make sure that I'm not setting the highlight over the contour in those areas because I don't want to bake that, of course. That is good, y'all. Now we can go ahead and go back into this palette and we're going to use the same colors we used on the lid underneath the eye. All right, and now I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. brunette pencil and this is the ultra precise brow pencil. We're going to go ahead and dust away the excess powder. This is really pretty. I think I want to add a pop of color though. So I think I'm going to go into this blue here and this blue glitter and we're going to add that to the lash line. First, let's add our mascara so we don't get the mascara on the glitter. I got this new mascara from Oma Beauty and I'm going to try that because I used it once and it was so bomb. I got this in an empty bag and um, I think I'm actually going to purchase it because it's really good. Watch you guys. All right, so we're going to be going in with this teal color here. I'm going to put this into my waterline. For inner corner, let's try this color here. I don't know how that payoff comes off, but let's try that. and go into Psych. All right, beauties, now it's time to bronze. So we're going into our blush binder, and this is where we bronze and blush. All right, beauties, it's time for lashes. This is King from Lashing Out Glam. I'm going to go in with Latte. Now I'm going to add some creamer. No, this is um, cake batter from Lashing Out Glam. Now we're going to add a little highlight. 
For highlight, I'm going in with the Crayon Case on Roll Highlighter. Alright beauty, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of everything together. This is looking so good. Let's get the whole look together and I'll be back. Alright beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to do something boho chic that was really cute. I knew I was going to wear this chain. This was a part of the surprise with the new look with the um, butterfly locks. But I am so here for it. I'm loving this look. I am having so much fun changing my hair up and doing different styles. And I really feel like this looks really good on me. I'm so happy. Um, I'm also excited I was able to review the collab with Vanessa and Juvia's Place. I, I loved Vanessa. She's so beautiful. She's so sweet. And um, I just had to support. So I got this. I actually got the two lips as well. I completely forgot about the lips when I was doing the look. And I didn't use them. So I'm going to do another look using this palette. Just to show you the versatility. And I'll make sure to use the lips for sure. But this is the palette that we used. This is how it looks here. And let me just show you the lips. So that you can see them. This is one of the lips. It's a mauve color. And then the other one is a nude color, which would have went perfect for today. But we'll use it again. So yeah, that is the collection. I think that the shadows are pigmented. They blend well. Um, I was able to create a gorgeous look, and I can't wait to see what other looks I can create with this. Um, I love the dual chrome. I think it's beautiful, and I'm here for it. You guys let me know if you are feeling it. Let me know if you're loving this eyeshadow look. Let me know if you're feeling the whole vibe that I'm giving you, this boho chic vibe. Let me know if you guys are feeling it the way I am. I absolutely love it, and I'm here for it. So thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to comment below. I want to know what you guys feel about this look. I want to know if you will rock it. Don't forget to like this video so I know you guys are enjoying this content. And please, if you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hey. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.